Yo, yeah, what's going on, guys? This is episode 34 of the Jerks Podcast. I'm your host, Mark Karski, with my co-host, uh, Dylan Mahler and AJ Lydig. We have Eric and Steve, I don't know your last names, on the podcast tonight. Eric Everson and Steve Raines, uh, you guys were in Turn Up and Stone. Yes. Wait, what, also what did you just yes. Turn Up and Stone. It's also a podcast. Okay. I didn't tell Mark and Dylan because I want you guys to introduce the idea because I really like it. Oh. They're the only other podcast that does a live audience. But you know how like we ignore our live audience? No, they we use theirs. They have. <laughs> no, you guys actually have an audience. Right? Yeah, that's who. That's <laughs> yeah. We have a we have a dedicated. Hey lo- we have a very loyal fan base. Uh-huh. Yeah, uh, that's a very ours generous. Is also be live with <laughs> Colin. <laughs> Take it till you make it. AJ, I like that you like the idea of our podcast so much. You decided not to tell them about it. Pretty at much. All. That was that was pretty much the idea. I wanted you guys to introduce it on the pod. Let's so, talk yeah. about it. Oh, so it's not a podcast yet. It's like no, an it advice is. show. Like yeah, they yeah. sit down. Uh, they run it like a comedy show. I've talked to Matthew and a couple others about it, where it's like you guys will have like opening acts that do stand up and like warm up the crowd, and then it's Steve and Eric will go up there and like talk live to people. Yeah, and they yeah, record so and put it out. People submit like it's life advice. So people submit life advice, and then us, and then sometimes a comic guest give uh, comedic feedback. I like for that. like life questions. So you know, my my boyfriend cheated on me. What do I do? And what's the craziest question you've got asked? Oh man. What was it? We had a couple crazy ones on the first one that are slipping my mind. A lot of the times, people will submit because we just leave a uh, like a bucket out at the venue for yeah. people to submit, and then like it'll people will submit like, "Do you think that we all eventually die alone or something like that?" <laughs> just you, just that. Yeah. Yeah. that sounds like a projecting question. Yeah. It sounds like Dylan was at your show. People are just admitting <laughs> things. They're like, "I'm gay. Don't tell my parents." <laughs> like it's fucking. Was a thing in church when you tell them stuff? Confessional. Confession, yeah. You didn't know what confession those. was? No. I went to religious education, actually, dude. I but cannot I believe that. Yeah. What I was don't that? know if you guys. Confessional. You guys, you guys have not yeah. met Mark Garcy, correct? No, I don't, I don't think, think so. so. The no. head tattoos and everything, it's jarring. Yeah. I mean, it's a, it's a crazy well, person. I mean, to ultimately, meet I've met time. this character of a person. <laughs> played times. him in a video yeah. game. <laughs> yeah. I've played GTA before. Uh, Mark's a YouTuber, the, so he can look like this full time. Uh, yeah. YouTuber, you're a full time YouTuber. Yeah, Woo! that's pretty amazing. It's a good time. What do you do for? What's the the I, primary? I talk shit about TLC shows. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, very difficult. Right, right. <laughs> Super difficult job. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you got to watch all the TLC shows then. No, he just watches I, clips. I just put on the clip and I just talk shit. I just riff and I'm like, it's over. Look, at, ever, look at this fat cunt. And people are like, oh my God, dude. <laughs> if you ever watch his commentary videos, sometimes he does not know the names of the people on the show. Damn. Yeah. And I'll like, be like, that's her mom. I'll be that's like, awesome. that's their mom. And people are like, that's not her fucking mom. Dude, you don't watch this at all. I'm like, why would I have to? You yeah, know? then you got to fire back with like, you're a fucking loser. You know who her mom is? <laughs> you watch the show? <laughs> Kill yourself. Yeah. The good shows. Love you guys, though. Love the audience. Mm. Speaking of, you got a new Facebook band. Because of the tits. Because Oh, these? Which what? we continue yeah. to not cover. Yeah, dude, Facebook's like, stop. And I'm like, I can't. When we first started the pod, we kept them Damn. We kept them covered, covered pretty, pretty frequently for clips and whatnot. And now we have really just let them hang. If I get, I just, I just need Steve Facebook until I go to my 10-year high school reunion that I don't need Facebook anymore. Because it's coming up. That's the only thing you use it for? Well, I, yeah, that's the only thing I'm trying to Did you go to your five-year? Anyone? What? Anyone go yeah, to I went to a Wait, 10. Five year? I don't think five yeah. year exists. That doesn't exist. Five year definitely exists. Five years a thing, right? Yeah. What? How was the ten year? Right. The ten year was wild. Were you like? It was enough time to be like totally moved on from. <laughs> and they the all got fat in high school. Yeah, and it was just a weird bunch they of have kids and mm. stuff. You know, like that. I was trying yeah, to go there back was to like, everyone. We all had sex with each other <laughs> at <laughs> the reunion. The yeah, that's Dude. what they don't tell you about the ten year. <laughs> oh, no, I'm definitely going. Dude. And they're like, do you? What are your dietary dietary restrictions? And then you, everyone gets naked and has sex. <laughs> cool. <laughs> they go, you need to check vegetarian, fish, or chicken, and then <laughs> submit an STD test. <laughs> and then you're more than welcome to come to the 10-year anniversary. Yeah, if I was single, that's exactly what a high school, that's what it would be. If I didn't have just a Just trying to hook another. up with girls from high school? Well, it'd just be, yeah, that's you go back and point. try and live vicariously through... Who you are now? Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. You try and go back, and you're like, I'm not, I'm not a loser anymore. Right. And then they're like, Well, you're at a ten year high school reunion, so you kind of are. Yeah, I was gonna say, five <laughs> years are a thing, by the way. I've never heard of five that. years are That's a thing, like, but it's also like you're barely out. Yeah, so you're what? you're just in college or just graduated college. No like one's like so successful soon. at that point, really. Too soon. Yeah, you yeah. want to be more successful than others. The five year seems like you're going to fuck. It's like I was in high school for five years and I didn't fuck. <laughs> <laughs> 
You wait if you want to explain sharing. it. Here. Sharing a microphone. That's what I was explaining. Oh. We're sharing a microphone because we can't use five. We can both put a hand on it. No one. Yeah, you guys got a long. You guys can double hold the shaft. Like Here's that. what no one. <laughs> no one watches this on audio only. Mouth though. goes. Yeah, not really. This that is many. a YouTube podcast. It is on Spotify and iTunes. Nice. Yeah. It's, uh, it it's there's tons of something almost like a Greek tragedy. Like you're like a character. Like a, you know how the fates all share one eye. <laughs> It's oh, like two podcasts. This is too smart for me. Two podcast hosts who share one microphone. They have to pass it back and forth. It's it? like when a troll in a movie has two heads and they kind of bicker. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I like that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You guys are limited, relegated. To, you're cursed to only. You have so many things to say, but you only have one microphone to say it through. Dude, people are born like that. Have you seen the bitches with two heads? Yeah, the bitches with two heads. Yeah. <laughs> That's a TLC show, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> the bitches with two heads. It's Mark's newest YouTube video. <laughs> I would make fun of them, 100%. Two head hoes? Yeah, these two headed <laughs> sluts, dude. I would saw something about uh, uh, it's like a two ladies that split at the torso. And one of them's asexual, and one of them's not, and they have to like negotiate. Well, at least that. they're separated, right? Wait, do they both, no, no, they share they, a vagina. Oh, oh, and they have a different yeah. preference. That's funny. Yeah, and one of them's just got to like lean off to the side, and I guess do like just crosswords or something. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's That's wild. a crazy existence. Yeah, <laughs> it's crazy, dude. It's, any scenario, what would you do in every scenario? Kid is coming out like that. What are you doing? Keeping it? You might get a show out of it. That'd be hilarious if one of them wanted to abort it and the other one didn't. Yeah, wait, wait, one one whose parents? choice is it? Who do they rule on? You, wait, like... you think you get to ask the kids? Wait, what are you talking? Wait, now I'm confused. No, like if there's two people that are connected, they share a vagina, oh. impregnated. Oh, one of the heads is like we we can't have the kid. The other one wants <laughs> to have it. I think they would have to fight. <laughs> <laughs> you know, just start hitting the, the other one. Just one arm, just swinging. yeah, biting. Kind of yeah. like a I feel slap like you contest. gotta do biting. You oh. think they ever make out? All the time. No, they one have of them's to. not sexual. One of them's one of them's Yeah, but just to get really good at making out. Yeah, they had Dude, to I don't practice. know if that's how you get good at making out. <laughs> just by reps. <laughs> yeah. I don't by, think get it by by targeted practice. I think that's reps, exactly how you, know. you yeah. no, you're just gonna I feel like you're gonna end up reinforcing bad habits making out with your identical half attached <laughs> system. <sister. laughs> You're not Think about it though, you could you could realistically make out with another person for at least twenty minutes a day, no problem. Yeah, you know, I just noticed yeah, when you're right young, before bed, like are, when you brush your teeth. You are know? there ever just, like hot Siamese twins? Because the ones that we're talking about, they're dogs. They're fucking ugly. Good lord, right? <laughs> you really are a jerk. That necklace says it all. <laughs> I gotta be, dude. <laughs> is the gold the tooth? Is that a real gold tooth? Yeah. So is it? How did they do that? It's a mold of my teeth. It's just a cap, though. You can oh, take it in and out, right? Yeah. 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 I. Uh, That's good. So you I guys think, think they're hot? I think that it I think <laughs> it's probably <laughs> objectively, if they had one head, it would still be an ugly woman, you know. Mm -hmm. Two hands. Four hands. I, <laughs> they don't. Do they? <laughs> that would be cool. Yeah. Like that one that's like a character from Mortal Kombat with eight hands. Yeah, but that's wasted on my white penis. There's nothing to do. That's one <laughs> <laughs> that's three hands all scratching their heads. Yeah. Well three hands all taking a turn. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Not to do my act on stage, but they'd have to hit me with the T-Rex. They'd have to each do two fingers <laughs> and just kind of grip around the base. <laughs> Wait, is that a masturbation technique, the T-Rex? Well, that's what I call it whenever a girl's like trying to be nice. And she's like, look, I can get two hands on it. And then she hits you with the velociraptor. There's just that's fucking like awesome. little fingers. She just holds her dick like it's a cup of tea. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like she should be looking out a window. She's <laughs> cradling it, overlapping and thinking about Waiting life. for it to cool off just a little bit. Yeah. Have you ever heard uh, have you heard <laughs> have you ever heard Adam C's oh, joke just... about the first time you asked shout out Adam Crochetti, the first time you asked radio. Yeah, yeah, I just used flipped it over my stomach, used two fingers like a oh, clit. Yeah. <laughs> two finger clit rub. <laughs> Yep. He's the best, dude. One time he came out of the bathroom, he's like, if you use the waistband, you don't gotta wash your hands. And I was like, what? <laughs> Smart guy. Wait, meaning he pissed in the waistband? I think no. he used his waistband to hold his oh. cock. Oh, yeah. waistband. He oh. used the waistband. Yeah. Smart guy. I think we all have it at a certain point. Yeah, I've tried that before. Wait, who, who uses it? Yeah, wouldn't you just... I would go with the t-shirt the on the top. Who goes with a waistband? Is he gripping on the bottom? That's like a weird way no, to No, like flipping it. your dick up into your waistband. Like when you have a boner. Yeah, but you're not peeing yeah, no, but this straight is, up. He's talking about peeing. 
I am talking about. Yeah, but what he said: if you put your dick in your waistband, you don't have to wash your hands. Yeah, so maybe he like he might have balanced his waistband down and balanced it. You know, like a fountain. Mm. Yeah, I don't have enough dick for like that, a little so Greek I'm just pound? guessing. Maybe he says that because it's like pinned away from his asshole. It's further away from his asshole, so he's like, it's not, has it been contaminated? Yeah. Hanging down by I the balls. You have like a divider between like your dick and the rest of yeah, it. Yeah, he's like, know? I've had it pinned up in the waistband and it hasn't been touching the rest. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. Don't give Dylan your the, Don't. <laughs> we can't keep sharing. We can't. This is the perfect time to share this. I'll come in and say something random sometimes. Yeah, spicy. Yeah, what do you got? Got my Obama impression from uh, last <laughs> week, uh, back by popular demand. Dylan, popular Dylan Waller's Obama impression is our favorite thing to show people. Yeah, lay it on us. It's uh, pretty good. <laughs> it's not that good. It's... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but I like doing it. So damn it, that's like when you go see like a uh, like a <laughs> carnival fair, and they're like, "Come see the two headed uh, monster," and then you go back, back and it's like, to the twins. There. Yeah, it's <laughs> clearly like a seal that they taped a uh, basketball to or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> it's technically, I mean, I don't have an Obama. Steve, you got an Obama? Yeah. Where is my birth certificate? <laughs> Where is that? <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't that the claim for a while? They're like, we actually share a birth certificate. He was Kenyan, right? <laughs> yeah. He, yeah. Had a, he didn't have an American birth certificate. That was the thing. Obama was Kenyan. His really? middle name's Hussein. That's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> that you could get elected with that. <laughs> Did they did they, they turn up a birth certificate? Ass. What was the resolution? Chris of that? knows. I don't know. It's to what? <laughs> to the Obama birth certificate, the the little scandal thing. I don't know. I just remember Wasn't that a Trump thing. Yeah, that was mm. when he like entered the political. Yeah, at least that was in my life. That is yeah. such a Trump well, thing. To remember, say. It's, it's Obama Hussein, what whatever his last name is. Barack you know? Hussein. No, he said his name was Obama <laughs> Hussein. <laughs> you got it. Trump got arrested, didn't he? Yeah, or something. Yeah, yeah, Trump got arrested. <laughs> Today. Oh, yeah. Should yeah. we talk about that for the entire podcast? Yeah, but first, I mean, it is relevant. a Trump impression. Just what everyone worries happens on four white guy podcasts. Just <laughs> bringing that into actual reality. It's all yes. just morning. <laughs> when they're like, you guys are just doing exactly what we think. We're like, yeah, we're kind of doing exactly mm-hmm. what we think. A moment of silence for Trump. So yes. Guys. Thanks, Obama. <laughs> <laughs> Where it's did they like black voice in the Oh, way. what if he dies in prison just like fucking Epstein? Mm-hmm. What if they all start going like Ooh, that? Ooh, that'd be nuts. Yeah. I don't think anyone would believe that though. No? You know what I mean? Like if they stage that, I don't think anyone He's still alive. Yeah, no, that'd be tough. I mean, oh, well, Epstein is still definitely his base wouldn't believe it. But it would yeah. be wild just to see. I think that eventually we should just start taking all politicians out to pasture that way. Well, I think if I was Trump, I'd be petty enough <laughs> to just kill myself in prison and then like let the conspiracy theories live on after me. Oh yeah, you know like what I mean. Of, yeah, yeah. Like if you do it yourself, then it's like no one's gonna believe that you did it. Yes. So you know that like you're just gonna set them up for failure. Yeah. With some like forty chess. <laughs> Watching him like tie a noose <laughs> would be hilarious. Like I feel like it would take him a long time. But <laughs> I small to figure hands, it out. He's just like. <laughs> trying one and it just like unfolds now what if he just like kicks the ass of the biggest guy in prison first day starts running shit mm. what if he keeps trying to die and it just won't happen they're like we're just not do you think they'll shave his head like what if he gets out with like shaved head and like prison they tattoos? take off his toupee i mean i feel like it's gonna be he's not even staying <gasps> in jail right? they're not gonna tan him up post. dude in jail he's gonna be untan that is you know, true. Yeah. The fake tan? No, he'll go to like rich people jail. He'll be able to like play tennis. He'll be and in stuff. like one of his hotels. I doubt he'll even be in jail. He's probably just gonna post bond and probably and leave, right? We well, ever heard like uh, like so Jordan poorly. Belford talk about that, like the Wolf of Wall Street guy, where he's like, Yeah, I went to like rich person prison. Like I played tennis and hung out in country club. Like that's what it is. That's wild. You know, you don't hear about that a Martha lot. Martha Stewart. That's kind of nice. They grilled Martha Stewart on that when they remember when she went down. Didn't she go mm. down for Insider, Insider Trading? Yeah. 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 And then we're like, oh, she's just doing the Martha Stewart show in jail. She's got it all like <laughs> decorated out. I feel like Trump would do well in jail. We're talking about the, the king of manipulation and shit talking. I feel yeah. like he'd True. run the prison eventually. Yeah. And it's, it's like he was the former president. Like uh-huh. there's people will want to protect him. Yeah. That's a good point. But he'll know what will resonate with them. Yeah, I heard everybody in prison loves Trump. They love him. Yeah. That's what I heard. Like, the shit talking and how he, how he is, they love oh. him. I know a lot of people. So great. Yeah, He's great guy. Best. My president. 
Unfortunately, he can't make any of them. They can't vote. They're all convicted felons. That's He's the best it's a useless base. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's actually the most useless base. <laughs> Until you need somebody to smuggle in a sharpened toothbrush uh-huh. in their asshole. <laughs> like, I'm and glad now, I have yeah. established this base. Now they come in yeah. handy. Mm. <laughs> Are you guys voting for mayor? <laughs> I didn't. Didn't that already happen? No, yeah, I think it's today, runoffs right? now, right? No. I don't know. I, I Lori Lightfoot. was yeah. talking about it the other day. I didn't know who Lori Lightfoot was. Yeah, it's like bizarre to Chicago is the only uh, city where like the mayor seems Important. relevant. Yes, mm. like every other city, it's been like, the mayor is like the guy from <laughs> Thomas the Tank Engine. <laughs> like he just shows up and opens parks. I don't know. Well, you've done like the the vixen and McHenry, or like the yeah. McHenry mayor will show up. Yeah, oh, and he just wears had, like shorts and like he looks like Adam Sandler. The mayor is supposed to be the guy <laughs> he's just who like lives. A guy. Yeah, he's just so. supposed to be a guy who lives close to your richest friend mm-hmm. and like occasionally rides in the back of a pickup truck in like a local parade and opens a mall. <laughs> he's not supposed to be like connected to Epstein and he had like a opponent whacked. Right, but like he's not Chicago, a fun jolly mayor. Like, it's a big thing. Yeah, it's mm. frustrating. The mayor wanna, came of Bartley came to uh, Gambits. When we were doing gambits, yeah, dude. And he, like, bought us drinks and shit. I had him buy us, like, a Zula, which is, like, $42 a shot. He looked at the tab. He was not happy. He's like, uh, he's like, you guys are so lucky. You guys bring people joy. I just make money. Mm-hmm. I was like, I'll trade you. <laughs> <laughs> I've been watching a lot of videos where it's, like, the mayor gets a DUI. Those are, like, my favorite. Yeah, I've seen Cops mm-hmm. getting DUIs. Oh. Mayors, I'm like. Come like, on, dude. <laughs> Or like other people, like he's the mayor of our city. <laughs> Some bitch was trying to get arrested. He's just like, no, just let it go. <laughs> I don't know. He's the mayor. I like the justice element. Hey, dude, if I was a mayor, I would not take too kindly to being pulled over, mm-hmm. drunk driving. I would totally. I would mayor out. Be like, do you know yeah, who I, I, I am? They're like, yeah. no, mm. we don't know who the fucking. By the way, Mark, Mark fill them know. in on fill them in on gambits really quick. Should he open mic? I ran for like. Four months with No, uh, you know the story. All right. Oh, this is my favorite right. fucking story. That's right. I thought you actually meant to describe what it was. So I don't think we've um, told it on this podcast yet. Gambits was a great place. They did a cancer fund for a guy who was dying of cancer. What it's so nice. Uh they raised like two hundred and forty thousand and kept the money. What? Yep. He can't take it with you, <laughs> you know? <laughs> He did was, any of it go to cancer? Or is it all to gain? He it didn't go to him. The bar no, is it went to so the bar. nice. Gee, and whiz. no one goes there because they know it what got, they did. It got bought, yeah, literally, and it got bought. Thank God. God yeah. bless. That is a gambit. Yeah, they lived up to their name. Yeah, mm-hmm. they, <laughs> there was an actual gambit that went down. What did it look like? Was it a dive bar? Was it a fancy? Oh no, it was nice. It was nice. It was, it was a fancy bar. Yeah, it's pretty nice. That's it a was big gorgeous. That money went to good use. Okay. Yeah. Didn't die for nothing. Like, sometimes we would do the mic, and there would be, like, no one even behind the bar. It was just, like... Just the ghost of the guy with cancer. Because <laughs> no one's there. But nice place. Yeah. Shout and out to him for all that extra also, money for the renovation. Also the perfect place for an open mic. Because it's a failing business that has a nice venue. Yeah. <laughs> Not this place. This place is great. But the this rest place, of them... This place is awesome. I'm, I love the... I like this place, and I've only been here for... 12 minutes. It does feel like we're in a hookah lounge. Does it not? Mm. <laughs> the bar is too nice to be a hookah lounge. I feel like I'm like in a basement. You got that nice yeah. oak bar. Steve made that point, and I, it's resonated with me. You can tell when you can like saddle up to a bar and get your full elbows on the oh. oak like that. Mm. That's good, good living. You hear that, guys? You can put your elbows on the bar. Come to Josephine's. <laughs> Josephine's <laughs> Martini Bar and Grill. Yeah. We have have you had the martinis wave. here? I have not. I've had just good? about everything else, though. You've had a martini here before? Yeah. What kind of martini? Dude, a have? martini is such a classic drink. Oh, I have had an apple teeny here. I'm oh, a you pussy. had an apple teeny? I'm a bitch. I'm sorry. Good lord. And you had that coffee one, too. The coffee an one's good. An espresso coffee martini is classic. Martinis. What's in an apple martini? Apple. What makes it different than yeah, what's, a, uh, I think it's like just the, apple actual, vodka. the actual fruit or like a kind no, just, no, like, just a like apple vodka, I think. Oh, or, a syrup? Or, or like a simple mm-hmm. syrup of apple or something like that, yeah. And we just, should know what's this. That? And then what? Can you break down what's in an apple martini for it's us? It's just apple syrup, right? Apple. You squeeze an apple over it? Sour pucker. Sour apple pucker, pucker right? Apple Bacardi vodka or gin? Sour pucker, that's what AJ's rum? butthole did after wow, it's rum. <laughs> he drank an apple martini. His butthole puckered up. Got a sour pucker. <laughs> sour yeah. pucker yeah. <laughs> he went home with the mayor as a mm. scandal. Dude, you drank two martinis. You're fucked up. Yeah, that's just pure it. booze. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
Like a gin martini, a dry martini. Yeah, yeah got, I like a, a gin martini. Even when you watch people pour it sometimes, it's just like, and then just like a splash, a little soda. Like they just pop the button really quick. There's no like, soda in martinis. I'm stupid. You suck. I'm talking about no <laughs> I'm, You know, hey, I'm you know what, guys? I'm, I'm teasing. I'm <laughs> he hasn't been allowed to drink long enough. He'll guys, I'm 11 eventually. years old, okay? This is... Really? How old are you, actually? I'm 21. 21? Mm -hmm. yeah. God damn it. Life's I am young. so f ahead of you. Is We're it, though? Did yes. You have yes, it he is. You could die. No, but Let's you got four it. cautionary tales just looking back at you. <laughs> 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 that is funny. Your face A looks like all of ours. Learned. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just blissful with hope and whatnot. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Think about all the directions you could go. What do you want to be when you grow up? <laughs> of these four, is yeah. those my options? <laughs> no, no, no. no. I mean, actually, YouTuber, unemployed, uh, carpenter. <laughs> <laughs> Not that one. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, I'm just. I have no money. I think I'd rather be a carpenter yeah. than unemployed, though. Yeah, that'd be fun. Yeah. <laughs> Handyman, unemployed. Nice. <laughs> but Podcaster, also a full time. We have Podcaster, one guy with a comedian, but also a full time comedian. Director. Full time comedian is cool. Yeah, yeah. That's I could definitely. Thing. I could. Mm -hmm. I could technically say full time comedian. And if there's one follow up question, I would have to kill myself. <laughs> <laughs> like Jesus being a full time a comedian, I feel like you just don't need another. Like as long as you're just unemployed and doing comedy, that's you're full time. Yeah. You but know? what do you do? What do you define as doing comedy? I'm full Good time. Question. Good yeah. question. Because if you if you say you're full time but you're just Pro doing uh, open mics, you're open not mics. full time. Yeah, you're not yeah. full time. Yeah. Do you you, what's paid. the bottom minimum? What's the minimum? If I make seventy five dollars a week, am I a full time comedian? I'd say so. No, <laughs> no. I'd say so. No. If you make no money no elsewhere, <laughs> no money. I would I would say you'd have to make at least like the minimum, like the whatever the minimum is of like the. Uh, you have to reach the poverty line, I would say, of an American for you to be full time. The, the like highest level poverty of poverty line, <laughs> like oh, yeah, basic. yeah, I would say like the like the U.S. poverty line, which is like what seventeen thousand a year. I think it, I thought it was like eleven, but I don't know. Mm. It could be like seven. It could I would say if you up. can't like support yourself from it, I'm not, I feel like yeah, if you don't getting, get to call yourself full time. <laughs> yeah, because if you're doing so, you have to do something else to supplement it. You're not just a full time comic. Yeah, if, if you're getting paid to do comedy every weekend, I think that counts. Like but if you're regular, if you're working in comedy clubs every weekend, yeah. But I, I think, think here's the thing: is that as, it, it, once you have to explain it to a girl, that I think if you can explain it to a girl and you're not lying, you're full time. But if yeah. I said <laughs> that's, that's a good point. A if line. I said I'm full time, and then she was like, "So where does most of your money come from?" and I said unemployment, it's immediately the illusion shattered. I right, found. right, yeah. yeah. Mm. But also, why is she grilling you like that? Why is that her first question? Where does most of your money come from? Because she's Jewish. Okay, fair <laughs> enough. Is your girlfriend actually Jewish? Yeah. She is not. She is? Yeah. yeah oh. Yeah. Sorry for your loss. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> you got any big Passover plans? No, I think I here? missed Passover this year because of comedy. Isn't that this week? I think it's when Wednesday. Wednesday? You guys celebrate? It's tomorrow. Yeah. What's mm. everybody doing for Passover? <laughs> I'm just going to eat tortillas. Park. Yeah. <laughs> Like Can't you off. not eat leavened bread? Going, I can do whatever I want. Three, I'm saved by Jesus Christ. <laughs> 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 My girlfriend's got to eat crackers and whatever. Whatever those Jews do, you know. <laughs> <laughs> They're very nice. Eating locks and shit. Yeah. yeah. Mm. It's a good bagel. No, it's mom's fantastic. Jewish. Your mom's Your Jewish? Gold coin. Dad. No? Dad, Dad. sorry. Dad's so I'm Jewish. going to heaven. Yeah, yeah, yeah you, you <laughs> skated out of it. <laughs> That was close. I used to think uh, like Jew meant atheist, so I always used to tell people I wanted to be Jewish. But it was like really embarrassing to be Jewish in my school uh, all the time. Was that for you guys, or was my place anti-Semitic? Yeah, I think it didn't come up where I was. Man, well, I went to a Catholic high school, so if we had you guys if we had Jewish people, it was like a problem. They Not were a getting, problem, but it was like audited. Can they it let was them interesting, in? You know, it was they, they were allowed in. Oh, they're allowed in. Yeah. Why? Yeah, dude. They don't. That's what I was saying. I don't think the Catholic Church gives a fuck, dude. They're like, you do. You Muslim? All right. If you're paying tuition, I don't give right. a fuck. <laughs> what you're paying a beer, we don't give a shit. Yeah, we got to pay the lease. We got to get Father baby. O'Shaughnessy reassigned to a different. <laughs> Do you have any idea how much it takes to re relocate a man and all of his possessions for 30 years all out of a rectory? Time. Have you tried renting a U-Haul to drive across the country? We tried getting him to stop, and that is not an option. So we got to go with the relocation. <laughs> we stopped renting U-Hauls. We bought a U-Haul. Yeah, yeah, we just invested in a truck. It's a dedicated... We started losing our ass on U-Hauls. <laughs> <laughs> the moment... 
The moment you stop respecting priests at a Catholic school is when you realize that they all just live in like a big frat house together. And they do? Like, Wait, they yeah, that's what together? they do. I thought that one just got they the house. They live together. That's hot. So if like if you're like a like Franciscan <laughs> like priest, like if they all like work for the same church, right? And they right? sleep in the same bed, right? The same con- no, but they have di- like they, an Alaskan king. They have different rooms. Like all right, the don't make it gay. Oh. You know? do, they, do they have their own rooms or is there a bunk? They have their room? own rooms, but they like okay. they live in a frat house essentially. Yeah, but it's a frat house for priests, so like I don't know what they not gay at all. Do they <laughs> super not gay? Can you drink as a priest? I think so. Yeah, the I wine, just think you can't right? get drunk. Oh really? I think they getting drunk a, is yeah. a sin, but drinking is not. A yeah, you're not supposed to overdo That's it. That's cool. Because they drink the wine thing. Yeah, but I didn't know, yeah. like, because if you're just living with buddies, you can't fuck. Right. You're in a frat house. You definitely can't fuck each other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they do. But you also can't fuck like it. You can't be like a priest and like, hey, I'm bringing a girl home tonight. You know, they can't do that either. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> but if you could just go up there but and get like kind of blitzed and play Call of Duty with your boys, that's kind of fun every night. It's kind of a good time. It's almost. Better than sex. It's not a bad gig. Some would say. Imagine the conversations in that house of guys who can't have sex living together. I mean, like, I wonder if there's like. ass looks pretty good at that point, dude. A guy's ass. Yeah, that is fair. You think so? A tight one. Is there how much? Tight one. (laughs) You've got some. What's the what's how long could you go living in a priest frat house before you wanted to fuck a A guy's ass? Really? Yeah. (laughs) Maybe like. like, Are are you are you fully heterosexual? Probably not. <laughs> Is it the collar it that does it for you? Just Grab it like a dog leash. Yeah. Yeah. I would prefer that. Have you been me. jerked off in a confessional when you were a kid? <laughs> I kept trying, dude. I was just too chubby of a kid, dude. It wouldn't uh, let me. Well, what's weird is like they wear like normal clothes around the house, and then they just gotta dress up and go be priests <laughs> together. Wearing Mark yeah. Echo in the house. Yeah. <laughs> what do you do? I'm just confused about what the direction. Someone needs to make that a reality show of the yeah. priests living in the house together. Well, then they're just gonna <laughs> fake <laughs> act like priests. You're gonna for it to be a reality show, a lot of it would have to be fake, or like they'd have to act. Out, you know. What, what if it's a house full of it? people that got kicked out of the priesthood? That'd be entertaining. A reality show? Yeah. Yeah, that'd be great. Most of them are just cr- pedophiles. Incredible. Yeah, after the collar. They're all after pedophiles. The collar. After the collar is <laughs> great. <laughs> after the collar. That's Life amazing. after the collar oh, on TLC next fall. <laughs> Ooh, what if we did a... Before uh, the ankle monitor. <laughs> what if we did a, like, uh, to catch a predator thing, but... It, I would say Steve hosts it, and then like the the <laughs> priest slides open the confessional, and Steve goes, "So what are you doing here?" That's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> you just bring people that are there for confession. Yeah, to like, Father, I thought about my dog this weekend. It's just Steve Raids opening up the window. <laughs> well, that would be a funny impractical jokers thing if you just had like it was Steve. a regular guy instead of a priest. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and the guy, the guy goes like, the guy so goes. So anyway, so what were you talking about? He goes, uh, he, he pulls <laughs> open the thing in the confessional. He goes. So uh, I hate to say this, but uh, I cheated on my wife. And he goes, tell me more. He goes, uh, you know, it was my secretary. She came in looking fine. I fucked her in the broom closet. And he goes, it's pretty hot, man. <laughs> <laughs> he goes, what? He goes, oh, sorry, 40 hair melodies. But, uh, you know, break that down in a little more detail for me. You just hear a chip get crunched in, like, <laughs> the, end, in like the end of a Pepsi yeah. in, like, a cup. Yeah. Just the dude's giving his confession. And he just keeps hearing, like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the guy's just on the phone Bone, talking. Yeah. Yeah. Damn, that's crazy. Or he goes, uh, he goes, wait, hold yeah, on. He opens, wild. he opens the front door and he goes, yeah, no, I will get, I'll get a full pepperoni. This guy fucked his neighbor. Can you believe that? <laughs> it's it did crazy. Again, I can't dude, believe say that. Say that again. Dude. Yeah, hold on. Say he that. Believe me. The that's Catholic crazy. Church just opens it up. They're like, we'll pay you forty five grand a year. Yeah. You can come in. We need people to run these masses. We're out of priests. Yeah. We priests will just like, listen. They start live streaming on Twitch the confessions and shit. It would be it would be funny if for a confession you walked in there and there was no one on the other side. Because it's a blind, so you would never know. <laughs> but they could just have like an automated, like an Alexa, be like, that sucks. That's yeah. an Alexa? <laughs> hey, oh. Alexa, how do I get into heaven? <laughs> That's wild. What if AI. Fi- Ooh, what if we have AI it? priests? Yeah. Is that a possibility? For no. a they priest? Ah, it's a good idea. No, I don't think they'd let that happen because they love to pound no, but this children. Is good. Cheeks. This is good. Get the priests. They, we out should get them out of there, yeah. but I think they love kids. No yeah. more human priests. Uh, Make I it all robots. Say, no, no, no. I'm going to redo it. I'm going to flip this whole thing on its head. Keep I'm going to say pedophiles. all human priests, but oh. all the altar boys are AI. Ooh, because they can't fuck the AI. You can't fuck the AI. It's in the ether. Yeah, can't yeah. fuck a hologram. Uh, yes, exactly. Yeah. I mean, they could try really hard. <laughs> <laughs> it would be funny to watch. Screw all the other kids, but <laughs> make those kids AI. Yeah, yeah make those. Yeah, yeah, little robot, little eye robot in a cute little Let white dress. Let them have all yeah. the other kids. 
Well, you know, that's like, that's the first thing that's going to happen with AI is it's going to be used sexually. Like, what if all AI becomes like sexual assault survivors and it's just all scarred as a program? Yeah. Eh. Just program it to be different. <laughs> he just program it to sh- get over it. About yeah. it. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> what was it wearing? Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's the future. Dude, AI porn is going to be dope. Just get to type I swear in to God, I didn't you know it, it was a Google Home Mini when I fucked it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I thought it was a full on Google Home. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. Uh, we like to have fun. Dude, the mm. AI porn, you're going to be able to type in whoever. To make a porn. That's gross. Like, I hate, like, the deep fake porn. That's so gross. Like, oh, if I made one of Kim Kardashian, hey, say that one more gross. time. I was feeling into the camera, so no, I don't think dude, he I definitely want... did it. But you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> no, it's I don't just... think it's gross. I like, but you see, like, all the streamers that, like, like, it's like their face gets uploaded, and then it's just, like, it gets put onto someone fucking Yeah, someone. but it's not them. That sucks for them, though. Why? It's horrible. Wait, why? Because now there's porn of you out there. So? But it's not... Because uh, now not... AJ can't not jerk off to you. Yeah. And yeah, now I have to use it. Yeah, I don't no, really get that. I, think about don't, that. I don't get the problem with it because it's just. Think about if you were a girl, if you were like a, if you were like a like an underage woman that's like a streamer. All right, like I'm famous. in that mindset now. <laughs> 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 yeah, look at the jewelry. He's there, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> he just got out of justice in his head. <laughs> <laughs> He's got my ears pierced. Declares. <laughs> Imagine if you were like an underage woman okay. and like you just like you're just like a streamer. You just make content and then someone uploads your face and turns it into like graphic pornography. That's I'm just trying to think I'd be if pretty it was disgusted. me right now, I'd be like. <clears throat> what if you were the father of that girl? We'll put it that way. <laughs> pretty How gross. How old is she? Pretty gross. <laughs> How old is she? It doesn't matter. It it's matters. still pretty gross. Oh, wait, oh, he's I'd trying say, to think his way out of it. It's yeah, very funny. Dude, if she's. To watch the gears If turn. she has yeah. OnlyFans and she's. <laughs> like, How do I make this Dude, if better. my daughter has an OnlyFans and somebody deep fakes her, I'm like. She's already seen She's an OnlyFans, but like, what if she's just like, a, she's just like an Instagram model? I don't know. It's just, gross, it's not, dude. It's just not that. It's not them fucking. You know. I think fake. that o- he's I'd trying to imagine a world where his daughter isn't already on OnlyFans. So the <laughs> the, look, the dude, program look, is not loading. Look at me, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she gets an account the day she turns seven. Dude, <laughs> Leonardo DiCaprio was pre-ordering my kid. Are you yeah. kidding me? Yeah. He's, he's he's camping outside the Best Buy the day of. Dude, uh, he already signed up. It's good. Yeah, this is like when Skyrim came out. There's a line around the block. <laughs> 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 He's waiting for the release. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Got the DLC content and everything. I yeah. think that's the first thing that they put regulations on for AI is AI porn. You think so? Yeah, like deep fake stuff. I think they're going to put some regula- like you can't legally use someone's like name and likeness. Yeah, it makes yeah. contracts weird cuz then that's there's just like thing. these usage rights to your image or something even right. if it's a, a digital representation of your image. And is it like legally Have defamatory? What's that? I wonder if it's like legally defamatory. What is? Like making AI poor. Like if that's out on you, you could sue the person for defamation. In a way, I think there is like legal issues with it where people like Kanye West or like people on that level of celebrity are like mm. figuring out, trying to figure out ways to like well, a celebrity sue people can't complain if they about, fuck. I think because like defamation is really hard to do to like a celebrity. I would say because most of the revenue comes from being famous. Yeah, but if about. you're doing something that's legitimately believable, like if you're if you're deep faking a picture of them that is like, well, I think just soon we're gonna have to be develop because everything's gonna be fake. Like it's, even like YouTubers are gonna be fake. Like you're not gonna be even sure if it's a real person talking. So like a lot of it, we're gonna have to like learn our yeah. bullshit meters. Gonna What's have to real, change. man? I'm not looking forward to this. Future. No, I'm not on board it's with all it. Fake. Yeah. Like the arts, fake. Everything's. Gonna I kind of agree. With, that's where we're going. But. Dealing with regular like kids, people. Kids right. aren't writing essays and shit. They're just having chat GPT do everything. So. That's why like, I saw, though, I have friends that are teachers, and they're like, now we make everyone handwrite things. Like, they're going back to handwriting instead oh, of typing. That's, that's an important not skill work. to have. Yeah. No. Curse of handwriting. Yeah, yeah, bring it back. I kind of agree, though. Like, I'd rather, you'd rather have them handwrite that. That's yeah, retarded. How often do you write? They'll just copy. Well, none, but that's because he was. It's it's all gone out the window. If we bring it back, he right, might write right. more often, mm. and his career would be better. I also, I do. <laughs> <laughs> his career would not be any better. I do. I hate writing on a computer. I have. If to write any of us knew how to write, we would probably be uh, not here. Yeah, yeah, we'd be in uh, New York City, fucking writing for a thing. Do the Neuralink's coming out? We're not even going to be writing soon, dude. What are you going to be doing? You just yeah. think it. Think it. Mm. Yeah, there's going to be thoughts or talking without words. Yeah, that's a while away though. Thoughts no, are, thoughts no, are gonna, what did you just say? Thoughts are going to be talking without words? Yeah, you don't have to use your voice. That's a wild That's phrase. That's just a wild yeah. phrase <laughs> overall. You would have thought like, we would have lived to see the day. Yeah. They put it in pigs, the Neuralink. I'm yeah, sure. but they, they said no to clinical trials. They wouldn't let them do it in people. I'll sign up, dude. 
I would do it. I'll be the first on the list. I don't give a fuck. I don't think you're the brand they're looking for. Dude, I hate they'll to say take that. anybody that, like, if he dies, it's kind of a win win. Yeah. Would you sign up for the Neuralink trials? Yeah, so I heard it's really? going to be like 20,000. I would do it. Yeah. Dude, people are dying to do that. Yeah. It's for sure. Wild. Mm. What is going to happen when you're fucking, they plug the Neuralink in and then just all your thoughts are now accessible to the. I'm just instantly. It just starts in. loading child porn folders <laughs> like in front I'm of like, everybody. Oh, no, whose chip was this thing? <laughs> <laughs> Wrong chip. Take it. Yeah, I instantly lose consciousness and become like a robot. I'm like, that wrong choice, I guess. You know? Mm. Yeah. But I get to text faster. <laughs> Is that how it works? Could you just text from your head and then just text other people? Like, imagine like, us like, talking right now, but we don't have, like, you, I just convey my whole audible. thought to you. Nothing's audible. It just transfers back it's just, and forth. I, no, I convey, like, the whole thought to you mm -hmm. without having to explain it. But then that's the creepy because then I'm in your head. No, I'm sure you could be the same, like, well, just the same way where I can talk to you without you wanting to hear me. Probably. You can stop people. Oh, God. How this. bad is it going to feel when you're on like a first date and you can just look at all of her news can, when she's no, in front you of you? No, you can just see the girl her body ignoring your actual you. thoughts. <laughs> it's not like she's not getting what I'm saying. I just gave her a genuine thought and it just went over oh, her head. She ordered lobster souffle and went fucked it. Oh, that'll dude. ruin dates, dude. There's no more lying. It's that just going to be an alert for her. He's like, he is lying. Yeah, it's no bueno. You just go to you just go to dinner with someone and you're just, it's just like this. <laughs> That's so freaky. And they're like, "Are you thinking?" And they're like, "Yeah, I'm thinking right now." And there's just nothing. Yeah. So even when you're thinking nothing, like I think mine's just empty. <laughs> <laughs> even when I'm thinking nothing has happened, it's just silence. Steve's whole neural link is just breathing in and out, just in <laughs> and out. <laughs> Elevator music. And like, sometimes yeah. it stops. Yeah. Oh no, no, keep breathing, breathing, breathing. <laughs> But yeah. there's those people that are into that futuristic shit. I mean, they split their tongues. They get things, horns put in their forehead. Do you ever I think th about doing something like that? I can I see you doing that. I think that's a little that. bit different yeah, we were all than thinking like about uh, to that point. Because <laughs> like I, I like I totally body mods. Nah, because like that's not like a. Have you heard, give you an advantage? Have you, know? you heard of these guys? Though they they've put in like a thing so they could make payments with their wrists. I've seen that. Or whatever. So I feel like people are dying to get the implant. Yeah. I no, think I it's know. Just like, the, you can put your credit card chip, like the tap and pay. You yeah. can put it in your wrist now. Where would once, you put that's yours? So crazy. Like once the robotic arms are better than or as good as human arms, people are going to replace limbs. And shit. And That's already eyes. going on, dude. Yeah, like, why wouldn't you? I if you could have the fucking Anakin Skywalker hand, mm. you could attach a flashlight to. Like, you a don't. <laughs> you attach a flashlight to your Anakin Skywalker hand. Your arm hand. doesn't get tired. You just gotta walk in and just pay for, like, Jew Osco groceries with a flashlight on your hand the whole time. <laughs> Jew won't be around by then, dude. Like, yeah, Jewel I want a cold brew. Just shove it in my hole. <laughs> 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 Ew, no creams. <laughs> I'm not gay. Get the cream out of here. You guys wouldn't do the Neuralink, I take it? No? You guys wouldn't take a chance of that? I no. I, I mean, like, would. it's not. If I've, gone too, it? I've gone too long without the Neuralink to switch now. Dylan said he would. What do you think? I feel like I don't have that much to lose, right? Let's add something. You also work for Tesla. <laughs> the thought, there's plenty of room up here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I work for Tesla. Do you trust him more now that you've worked for him? No. I feel like the <laughs> early, earliest trials of it, I wouldn't do the very early stuff because Elon wouldn't even. Or it's like Mars. You'll just like have a bunch of people like go die on Mars. What, That's if you could, my, uh, what if you could put them in pedophiles and like turn off that part of their brain? No, you will. Yeah, like it's supposed to be able to fix depression, like all eyesight problems, blindness, deafness, and guarantee you, like the pedophile thing would go away for sure. Yeah, just turn that part off. What, what if, if you could turn the pedophile thing on? Thing? Yeah, I was gonna say, or you could make well, it really, really Well, that's gonna be on the really black market when you can install apps. It's like child porn. I like them now. <laughs> <laughs> or it's like a really funny prank to pray, play on your friend when he yeah, falls that asleep with a girl. AJ, AJ would do that fucking prank. That's something he would do. Turn his pedophile levels up while he's asleep with the neural. I gotta give. The, okay, I, I pulled a simple prank on Mark that he complains about on most of our episodes. Yeah, what's this? No, tell yeah, tell him the prank, AJ. Listen, man, tell I did a, I did another uh, another common basement podcast. Uh, Adriel Compi on the blind comic. If you know, it's and his Mexican podcast. blind Mexican blind Mexican comic. Only uh, one well, in the world. Well, he's more he's more blind than he is Mexican. True. But you know what I mean? You're not. If you call the blind guy a Mexican guy, like that's pretty racist. You know, he's I am racist. He's a blind guy first. But I did his podcast. And they had Mark scheduled for the next week. And the whole time I'm on the podcast, I'm like, cancel Mark's podcast. Let's make up a story right now for next week where we all get booked on a show so that when he's on his way, you're like, hey, man, sorry, I got booked. Can't do the podcast tonight. This is and prank. they did. They canceled the podcast on him. Isn't that a good prank? Whoa. 
It's a funny prank, right? They canceled the podcast? Yeah, I was like, holy and cow. And they, they kept saying sorry a bunch. I'm like, this is a hilarious prank. It was great because my whole episode is about them canceling the podcast with you. Yeah. And so, what do you guys think I of thought the prank? it was harmless. What? And then I told Wait. him as I was introing him on stage. That was funny. That was <laughs> that funny. part was great. That was good. I think it's fun. A little, a little ribbing. I mean, yeah. I would be, I might be peeved. I can understand the pee, but that's kind uh, of well, point I of wasn't a prank. peeved. If it was a show, I could understand me pissed. Stand up show, I'd be mad. Was it this podcast that got canceled? No. It was some shitty podcast that doesn't even run anymore. Oh, oh yeah. Are they done? I mean, th that's the thing is that we're playing with, uh, we're playing with low stakes here. This is right. this is five dollar hand. Mark had so no I idea. <laughs> we do. So we get. Dumb. We get this a couple hundred views here, on YouTube. Boys. Are we doing? Uh, <laughs> yeah. We get a couple Andy? hundred views on YouTube. This is nickel for less. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> What'd you say? Our, five dollar. Five dollar hands. <laughs> okay. Five dollars. The clips hands, are going boys. off. The clips Solid. are going off. We get clips are through the roof. Two hundred views on YouTube. It does okay. Nice. This podcast. Yeah. Two hundred views on YouTube. It does Ooh. all right. A couple thousand beat. views on reels. You know. Here we go. We do okay. What our last one? Last one had like eleven hundred likes. Two thousand. Almost 2,000 likes. Almost 2,000 likes. That pays the bills, the likes. That does Holy. not pay the bills. No, you don't get paid anything from it. <laughs> it's a base shit, dude. Nope. I always tell people when I when I did the TikTok thing when I was young and like I was I was like in college and everything. All right, I'm still, I get when it. When I was young. <laughs> okay, you know what? But either way, it's funny. Wait, you're not when, doing the TikTok thing anymore? I still do, but it's just, it's funny when people are like, oh, you did that full time then, right? Because you were big. And I was like, I got paid like 38 cents a month. You know, it wasn't. Damn, really? for how many views? So um, So I would get... Regularly, like when I was like really pop, I get like five million views in a month. Damn, Damn. Dude, that would be like ten thousand dollars a month from you YouTube. Th yeah, and that made me like a couple bucks That'd be 10 when grand. like the creative fund was like <laughs> new. Yeah. When it was like brand new and they weren't paying shit, they that's pay the lowest. Real. TikTok pays the lowest. For yeah, sure. I've heard that. Yeah, that's that's fair. crazy. Damn. Now I do okay. Just residuals. I just let the money kind of go away. I do. Yeah. You get a couple, you know, <laughs> twenty bucks a month, whatever. Yeah. TikTok residuals. Okay. Yeah, those are nice. He's 21 years old. He's using the word residuals. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. I don't even have nows, let alone residuals. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, guys, the only I was a business major, you know, I was secondary income. You guys know the terms. You know, when I was 21. The only residuals I had was semen on my hand from just jerking <laughs> off. A little residual. Yeah, I had a little semen. residual cum in my pants. <laughs> <laughs> is TikTok like not a? Is that like a goal of yours still to like grow on that platform? Or like no. not at all. No, I don't think anyone Do you shows think it's up. Die. I gotta be honest, dude. I had a it's spyware, right? Chinese I still have spyware. like a huge following on TikTok. You like can't no one's get gonna come to shows. Three thousand Chinese bots to come to it's your shows. <laughs> <laughs> See, I think the difference is because like like a shorts following, like people who follow for like short content. No, but they do content. vote in the elections now. So. <laughs> <laughs> Might not be a lot here, but they're jumping up and down in China right yeah. now. Wait, what were you saying? <laughs> jumping off of buildings in China. Would you say it feels like there might be a kind of a great wall between you and your audience? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I feel like an audience with like short form content is like. Super different than one from like a long form content. Type Agreed. Show. Like they, yeah. mm. it's almost like almost not an audience. It if feels you like. did, if you, if you did, yeah. like if you headlined a club <laughs> with your YouTube following, yeah. you could sell out a club right now. What's your YouTube following? Eighty thousand, eighty-one thousand subscribes. Yeah, wow, eighty-one thousand subscribers. It's and my TikTok following is higher year. than that, but none what's of your, them would show up. What's your following? One hundred and three. I'm gonna pass that up this year, dog. You, you probably it's, will pass YouTube. Me. But if it's I don't like get again, a fucking burpee next year, dude. I'm gonna kill myself. <laughs> but even that, it's not worth it because it's like those one hundred and three thousand. Like, there's not a lot that I could get from them. Right. So like you like if you they're not really it, gonna buy anything. Like if you try to sell a T-shirt, it probably wouldn't move that hard. The only thing it's realistically useful for is to go to clubs and be like, "Hey, I have this." Yeah. That's yeah. about it. You but know you what can mean? use that just to gain proof. a following. You yes. know what I mean? You mm -hmm. can manipulate that. You into, think TikTok's uh, going to go away? I think it's going to go away. Not because of the Chinese it, thing. I don't trial. think it gets banned, but I think like YouTube it gets is already. Limited. Dude, they just have shorts on the platform. Yeah. And Instagram yeah, but it's has not like reels. the culture that TikTok is. But Vine, I will say it does. You know? It feels like Vine. It always has from the beginning. It, yeah, it's just it's a Vine remake. Just can't last forever. Let the short form. I don't think it'll last forever either. Especially with the VR coming into play. Like, it hurts my career a lot if it goes away. You said what? It hurts my career a lot if it goes away. No way. I still have the BuzzFeed thing. Dude, it What's would be that? funny. I was on BuzzFeed. That's, that's, on BuzzFeed. Most of your, that's all of your followers, right, is on TikTok? Like, mm, like 99%, yes. Dude, that would suck if they just banned it in it America. It would really They're blow. like, go fuck yourself. Dude. Yes. Can't Damn. you get them to hop over? Probably like, not too this, well, right? All this, all I, this that you're seeing right here. If I was smart about it business wise, while well, I was still like coming up, I could have. But, but now, it's well, like, have you tried a call to action before? Hundred percent. Yeah, and work? I've merged What's, some of them. Like I have like five thousand Instagram now. I do okay. They get views, but it's like eh. 
I don't think the majority of them would move. No. I think if the app was being shut down, then it'd be a different story. Yeah. Because I think if the app is getting shut down, people just go through their following list on TikTok and they're just like, all right, I'll just follow them on Instagram. You think so? A lot of people are, I think. I feel like people would just go, uh. I feel like I would do that. (laughs) I feel like people go, uh. I feel like if TikTok was getting shut down, I would look at all the people I follow on TikTok and follow at least a handful of them on Instagram Hmm. or YouTube or whatever the hell they were on. Would you see that as like a huge loss if if they just took away that whole platform for you, having that fan base? Yeah. I don't know, because even that, like... All of a sudden, the live podcast wouldn't fill up like this. <laughs> <laughs> There's no sitting room, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone would just have to listen to us talk about social media business strategy. Right, yeah. People can't see afar. this, but there is, a, there is a thriving live audience in front of us. Yeah, they're You're loving telling it. me Facebook's shutting it down because of nipples, and people are missing out on all this Instagram business strategy that we're giving them? <laughs> Tell me more about how to create an attractive thumbnail. <laughs> So it's 1280 by 720 pixels, okay? <laughs> but I am interested. How did you... What was the big jump for... That's a lot of fucking people, if you think about it. 80,000? Yeah. What did you... I was it just, that plaque. Was What's it up? consistency? I always yeah. hear consistency is a huge thing. I used to post like two full videos a day in the beginning. Really? <laughs> Brutal. And like on the weekends, too. Yeah. So I was doing 14... 14 was, full TLC... Clips. Slam yeah. pieces. A day. Slam or a day. week. Yeah. I don't know what it's called. Yeah. Now pieces. I do one a day type shit. Yeah. Longer. Yeah. Just and it's fun? Do you have fun doing it? Yeah, actually. Because like good. I don't have to worry about anything. I could just, I just talk shit. What is, what is more fun for That's you? That's awesome. Nice. Uh, like the YouTube stuff or the stage stuff? Stage. Stage? Because I'm just in a fucking storage room at my house talking to a camera. Yeah, stand up yeah. live and it feels you know, real. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, once this stuff starts getting in the way of live stuff, that's when it all goes out the window. Mm-hmm. I tried to tried to get into doing clips and stuff, and it fucking hurt my psyche. It was not good for. Well, stand-up. sometimes it stops you from writing. Yes, because then you're just trying to rewrite the jokes that you're posting, and not like, I don't know. I feel like when I was like big into the clip, th- I did like two months where I like put out like a clip a week, and whatnot, and it's like, and not even like probably two or three clips a week, and it's like, at a certain point, you're putting out so much stuff that you feel like you don't have an act anymore. Yeah, and then like people will like or like a joke won't do well on Instagram, and you're like, oh, that joke sucks, but it's like one of your best jokes, and then another one will, and it's like if it's not good. Huh. It throws off your barometer. A I, w- I yeah, would yeah. never have like a vanity yeah. metric like dictate a v- like if something's successful. Or not. Yeah, I, mm. I, I never, I never had that directly, but I did just have, I did find myself getting wrapped up in caring about it, and right. that in and of itself was a negative experience. It will make you like go in a direction like if certain things work, you're gonna like probably post that more often if like a certain mm-hmm. joke. Type works more and it gives you a lot of views. I can see that influencing. That's fair. Yeah, I think it stunts growth. Mark posts every set. You post every you set. That you do. About that, the, yeah, the I have comedian. like a. I do like a series called The Comedian that like is documenting every single set from like the first one to to all of them pretty much. So like, I'll vlog in the car and then like talking about the set I'm about to do. Then I'll show the whole set. Then I'll podcast breaking down the set and stuff like that. That's why you're ready for the neural link. You're already putting it all out there. <laughs> I'm like, I need to get, cut out this editing, dude. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just put it all, stream it all from your eyes. Yeah, dude, yeah. that would be yeah, yeah. sick. I was actually going to get the glasses where you could film like The Google stage. Glass yeah. ones? That but, is cool. Um, like, oh, that would be. No, one, no one films POV stand-up clips. I was going to do that. That no. would be cool if you just had like a little GoPro and you just filmed like, as you're going around the room. I just posted, <laughs> I just posted like one of me bombing and that shit is so brutal to like sit down, watch, and you're like, I'm going to post this. Terrible. Yeah, I couldn't. I can't get over that hump. Mm. I can't. I've never Most people definitely shouldn't post them bombing, though. Yeah, but that's I get that I you're do. doing a thing. As a, yeah, that's also you because you already have an audience, so it's like proof of concept is kind of there. Yeah, and I also want to show like what it's actually like to be a mm. comedian. I'm like all these people on Instagram, how every show and everything they do is great. I'm like, that's not even realistic. Well, yeah. that was just you got to be hot. <laughs> and that's kind of it. <laughs> There's a lot of hot comedians that are going off right now, as far as clips go. Name them. Ma- male and women. There's yeah. a lot of them. List Only your top five hottest comics. Wait, Ooh. just because they're hot? Mark Karski. Yeah, he is. Times five. He is pretty hot. <laughs> No, there's a couple. You yeah. know what I'm talking about. Yes, I know what you're you talking about. You know what you're talking about. The, yeah. the, the clips of the hot comedians, and it's like, yeah, this is, it's not bad by any means, but it's like passable stand up. Oh, it's not good. You know what I mean? That'll, that'll get weeded out, I think. Yeah, well, somebody though, wants to stare at a fucking uggo on there while they're <laughs> scrolling on the. Like, oh my God, who is this? Yeah, it's hard to they go from like Brazilian face. butt models to just your average <laughs> dumpy me on doing stand up. <laughs> Just a low res, a 480, 80p, HDP thing of me being like, throw my penis is fucking small. And people are like, I want to go back to the naked age. Yeah. 
I actually prefer naked Asian ladies to what Eric is saying <laughs> poorly in a stand-up clip. You know what? Now that I've contextualized it, I get it. I understand it. Yeah. I, I scroll past stand-up clips. Especially if it's like if it's uh if like the ugly stand-ups are putting out A plus material <laughs> and then like the hot <laughs> comics are putting out like A minus material, I'd take a hot person doing A minus. Yeah. The all problem day, is dude. almost nobody's putting out anything in the A range material wise. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yes. But it is. You know what I'm frustrated with, as long as we're just on this uh -huh. kick of fucking uh comedy inside stuff, is uh like three years ago, who was it? Schultz came out with the YouTube clip thing. Yeah. And every I didn't like it at the time, not in a mean way. It just wasn't. Mm -hmm. I was like, no, I'm not good enough yet. I'm not putting my stuff out like that. And then every fucking big name comic was like, Schultz did it. He got around the thing. He got outside of it. He's not a he doesn't listen to the industry. You gotta do what Schultz. You gotta clip it up. You gotta put it on YouTube. And after like two years of that, I was like, you know what? All right. If that's the way that we, if you can't get mm. on Conan anymore, if it's not going to work, if I can't, I like was like, I bought into it, and I was like, all my favorite comics are like, you know what, love it or hate it, Andrew Schultz, that's the like you that figure it out, yeah. Mm -hmm. And even if you're not a Schultz guy or whatever, like they cited a bunch of people who are making it that way mm. with praise, and so I fucking buy myself a goddamn camera, <laughs> I teach myself to edit, I teach myself to caption, I start putting out clips. It does mediocre to bad, but I'm like, you know what? This is what you get. It's consistency. You got to do it. This is what they... Mm. And then you just flip on your fucking favorite... Name it. You name it. <laughs> Whatever your favorite podcast is, Matt and Shane, mm. Chris DiStefano, yep. and all of them are now just being like, you know what I'm fucking tired of? The clips. I'm tired of the clips. The ca Everyone's putting out the shitty right. clips. And I'm like, God fucking damn it. You guys told people to do this. Yeah, you, you guys, guys were the it, biggest yeah. proponents of this. And now, and I only did it because I respected you guys. Mm. And now I turn it on and my favorite comics are like, you know what? I fucking hate all the goddamn content that's coming out. And now I have to be like, yeah, I bet you guys thought this was going to end in a funny thing, but it was no, it was just an actual thing. No, it's I had. fair. It's a good point. Yeah. Like it's. It doesn't always have to be funny. It's a podcast. Yes. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah. But like, uh, I don't like, I think maybe they just say that from like a point of like, they're just kind of sick of it or like, no, since they I did understand. It. But the, like, the point. I'm not I like pointing it. a finger at any one of them. It just is frustrating as the guy who's like, Which you're just, I'm just like, I fuck, I should have just stuck to my original guns and not letting them get to me in the first place. You know what I mean? Well, I feel Probably. like you have to What's have that? a social... Louis? Louis doing them is weird. L uh, Louis putting them out? Yeah, it just seems weird. Yeah, but weird. you know what I, I like is that I know it's not him. Right. Yeah, you it's know what I mean? It's some intern. Yes. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, it feels yeah. like a commercial. I've written... It's like so not him. Yeah. yeah. But what I, what I liked about the Louis arc... Was that like he used to have this great quote that I liked that was like never put out your early stuff because it ruins the mystery. Just hit the scene hot with like your first mm. late night thing and you'll blow everybody out of the water. And I think that was valid and is valid, but was especially valid at the time. You know what I mean? Right. And uh, and then he went through all his stuff and he stayed off the radar the whole time and he would just like drop an hour of like the best material every year and then disappear for I wouldn't see him mm. anywhere and. Uh, and then he got his like whole cancel thing or whatever. And it, now he came back and he had to do all the podcasts. Yeah, that so was he weird. had to do all. But I liked all his his yeah. uh, his stuff on the podcast. It was all yeah. insightful. To, and so I feel like I almost got the best of both worlds, where like I got I got him as like you got the, polished Louie. Yes, as just the stand up. And then you got him doing the podcast. And then I got the, the yin and the clips. The yang, yes, where mm. I got to not so. I mean, the clips are fun because they're they pop up in the you, know, you right. remember Joe. Mm. But like all the like. His advice, his behind the scenes stuff, yeah, his like stories of the industry stuff that would have all mm -hmm. gone to the grave mm -hmm. uh, initially. Right. I feel like I got to watch the come up is like a cool mm -hmm. uh, mystery, man. Like yes. you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. uh, and then I got to get the back end where it was like gave the breakdown to everything. Right. It's almost like a, like when Hugh Jordan, like Drake has now started doing like interview interviews. Where it's like that's cool. Like it's cool to see people that are that pinnacle that have hit like the Louis C.K. Like a, not that they're in the same, but like a Michael Jackson, where it's like 
what the fuck are these people thinking on a daily basis? Yeah, it's that's cool. Why I thought it would be that, you know cool I mean? if Hitler had a podcast. That's why <laughs> it would be cool. It would be so <laughs> interesting. <laughs> that clip got taken off of Facebook. I was like, are you fucking? That clip got Hitler had a podcast. Yeah. Yeah. If Hitler, what if? What would you? If he just like Welcome. had a podcast? <laughs> and he was like, hey, I don't even yeah. know what I'm doing anymore, guys. I, the passion's out of it. I'm only killing <laughs> the Jews because I because <laughs> it's my thing. I don't want to do it. I said I would. You know, have to live up to what I say. The joke that got taken down on Instagram was. We go, what if Hitler would have a podcast? And Mark said, it would be gas. And that was it. They were just it done with us. Gas. It, oh. would be. Ah. it would be gas. <laughs> they were mad. <laughs> I don't know. You know where I think it goes, honestly? Like, um, don't tell to me. Like, don't tell comedy. I think they're the perfect example. Is, and I heard yeah. Schultz talk about this on a podcast where it's like, they're the new Comedy Central. I think because there's so many clips and everything's so wide, you'll start seeing social media empires like that pop up like don't tell where it's like yeah oh if someone has a don't tell clip on, on youtube they're legit yeah like yeah, yeah. this gives some uh some some social awareness to this where it's like it's oh i should like, watch this this is real there's gonna be like a youtube channel where it's like the netflix of youtube where you know like they're posting right, the right. good content like, uh, yeah. and they'll pay to produce your specials is and it shit. gorilla productions that's doing all the stand-up 800, specials? 800 pound gorilla 800 pound gorilla Isn't where also it's like what like shab is doing he like Produces all these podcasts underneath, like the Thick Boy, whatever that. I think so. Gay shit, yeah, like Cody Co started doing something like that, where it's like TMG Studios, and it's like they all have podcasts and stuff. Yeah, you get so many views on the same videos. It's very me. funny it how sense, like though. every. I mean, it's so like uh, predictably cyclical, where people are like we're tearing down the establishment, no gatekeepers. <laughs> now and then as we soon are. As somebody gets any modicum of, and that's the thing. I don't resent it because like there has to be some bar for quality. There has to be a gatekeeper. Yeah, yeah. There, yeah. there has to be. It's, Somebody yeah. should tell you like that's uh, like when Chicago Always, how do you comedy sift got big on all that. Of it? Yeah, Chicago yeah. got real big on like gatekeepers over guys is the mm. everyone and then i was like you know what a road or like a, a road with no gate on it is this the path that anyone can walk down that's and fair then it's, it's then a great there's metaphor, literally actually. just people passing under the unguarded gate of yeah it's not that you need it's not that you don't need gatekeepers you just need good gatekeepers yeah like you need yeah. people that are going to be impartial yeah, and, yeah. I think and you need a variety of gatekeepers who like different styles. Right. You know what I mean, mm. like Mitzi Shore never put Seinfeld up. It doesn't mean she wasn't a good club owner. Right, when she was like catering yeah, was to a like certain Joe kind Logan of thing. Like a good yes, oh, really? yeah, yeah. What do you think, like average comedy fan? Like, how much of the audience do you think at a club <laughs> is going there to see someone specific, or just there? Like, how often do you think people are just like, oh, let's just go see these random comics we don't know? <clears throat> I mean, it's got to be like. To me, that was the most surprising thing about starting comedy was like, I never, ever thought of comedy as a, a thing to just do on a Saturday unless mm. there was a, like, this person's coming to town. I know their name. I've seen them. I want to go see this person. Yeah. And then I started doing comedy and I would do shows and you're like, oh, you guys just came out on a Saturday as like an activity. You don't right, know yeah. anybody on the show. You don't know the headliner. You don't know me. You don't know what... Uh, yeah, there's just actual just comedy fans. Like it's people that will just come to Zanies on a Wednesday and be like, "Oh, who's on the yeah, show tonight?" But there's Let's also just, just not even comedy. They're just people who like Googled things to do Chicago, right? It was and a comedy saw show. a comedy club mm-hmm. and were like, oh, "I don't know that, but I'll just get the tickets." That's crazy me. that we're some people's date night for like the first like, yeah. "Ooh, there's a comedy night." That's a lot of uh, crazy. comedy bar downtown because it's so like yeah in the middle. Like you land in Chicago, you go downtown. It's just like it's right there, Michigan Avenue. Is yeah, like, group. Let's on go to a comedy show tonight. You deep know? dish and you yes. knock it all out yeah. in one mm-hmm. visit. Yeah, yeah, that they got it all there. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I feel like in bigger cities, people go see showcase shows or like just go out to a club and see like, oh, we'll see whoever's there. Yeah, we want to see yeah. comedy. But then in like a smaller <coughs> uh, suburbs or smaller cities, mm-hmm. I think people are like, we want to see this person. Uh-huh. Yeah, you hear so famous comics get a talk about it. And like where they talk about the difference. They're like I noticed when my fans started coming out because it just the shift in like ticket sales and mm. audience engagement and stuff like that, where it's like. Yeah, you'll pay. You might make two thousand dollars a weekend as a nobody, and then you go back and do the same club once you have a following and you make fifteen thousand dollars because you're a draw. You know, you're a value yeah. to the club now. Yeah, you're the guy. Yeah, you gotta take that. Uh... Steve, you got somewhere to be? Steve's got to take his birth control. <laughs> yeah, that was an alarm for the NCAA. That's the word I was finals. literally looking for was birth control. I was like, NCAA what is finals it? was last night. Yeah, that was last night. What are you I talking about? Just, uh, I guess I accidentally said it again, but I wanted to make sure I was at home ready did you to see, watch it. Did you watch Caitlin Clark in the in the women's? No, I didn't see that. There, there's see a that. there's a woman in Iowa that's fucking well. I know, but there's a woman in Iowa. She's fucking. She's like six foot three. 
She's not, but she like for she a hot? woman, she feels like she's six foot three. She's fine looking, whatever. That's you like no. a tall lady, but <laughs> no, but dude, just like pulls up from half court <laughs> I don't know, probably and not. just nails them. Like Whew. one of the best shooters you'll ever see. I, I don't sports. know where that fits into this podcast. Sorry but. about the alarm. That really was. That ruined good. this whole pod. We got to restart. Did. That ruined we have to it restart all. The whole We're going to do the another top. hour. We're going to ruin the open mic, too. It, it hit right at 8 o'clock. It was, it was yeah. well timed. That was Can we keep going? Or do we, need to... we probably have to close off. Did you guys see that we hail do. today? <laughs> <laughs> did anyone see that? There was crazy hail today. <laughs> it was. The weather was pretty crazy. But sadly, we have to get this open mic started, guys. Thank you so much for coming on the podcast. I appreciate you. Oh, by the way, promote everything. Promote all of your shit. Yeah, can you please check out Turnip and Stone. It's a new uh, funny advice podcast where Steve and I and uh, sometimes our friend comedians answer your hilarious questions. Also, we endorse it. They won't hype it up as much, but, like, dude, we're fucking... Yeah. I, like, I like that show. Thank you, like, you should check it out. It it's a cool, cool. thing. I like yeah, that. it's very fun. Avondale mm-hmm. Coffee Club uh, right now once a month. It might bump up to more often, and then we're doing studio episodes, too, so you can submit your questions online. And, uh, Start we'll confessing to like crimes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the deeper you go. Yeah, right. I'll us have in. my cousin write in. He killed four people, so you'll hear oh, from shit. him. Oh, yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. Tell him turnupandstone at gmail.com. <laughs> and we'll send let him in know. your emails, guys. Hell yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah. Thanks for Thank coming on, guys. Thank you guys for having Thank us. You. Thank you guys for listening and watching everywhere. I appreciate you guys. <laughs>